Okay guys, I'm still in the quest here. I definitely did not stop recording after I started uh, this quest. Definitely not. I also definitely did not go away and do other things for about five hours. Definitely not. But yeah, I'm still doing all this and I gotta admit, there's actually like a lot of things we gotta kill here. There's like more than 30 things that I have to kill here. So I just gotta keep on throwing these knives or if I get lazy, just uh, I guess start swinging the sword. But <clears throat> no, I actually was doing other things. I had to go tutor because that is my job at the moment. And uh, at times I have to do private tutoring sessions. So even so my school semester might be over. What the fuck is this camera angle? Even though my school semester might be over, I still gotta help others out who do not go to my school and go elsewhere and do other things, such as high schoolers. Because remember guys, I'm no high schooler. Thank god. Uh, there was something I wanted to say, but I really don't remember, which is quite unfortunate, but whatever. Uh, I guess in other news, I just saw that my YouTube channel, I'm almost... Uh, like, I'm really, really fucking close to 3.8 thousand, and that blows my fucking mind, dude. Like, I'm not gonna go off about how thankful I am, because I feel like I do that every time I bring up my subscriber amount, but it's, it's pretty incredible to see, you know, how far I've come since when I even began this playthrough. And there's our level up for 27. I don't think I got another quest. I need to do the, uh, the, uh, the Rhineworth Rings on my own time so I can start getting more of that shit and of course now I'm stuck in the Adoria's family uh, sort of quest line which is lovely and I'm doing the whatever this is and yeah I'm also apparently stuck in all this shit too <laughs> great huh that doesn't do much for me but I'm stuck in it um, and I'm also very close to leveling up the uh, the dagger and now I forgot what I was gonna say but Oh yeah, my subscriber amount. Uh, yeah, I'm just really surprised at how far I've come since I started this playthrough, for example, which was about a year ago. It is December, and I definitely started recording this shit in December of 2016. Fuck, come on. There we go. Uh, but man, what, what progression. Compared to last year, like, I've really grown, and I'm very happy for that. And by last year, I mean, like, pretty much after the springtime. It's when my fam- uh, family. My channel started to stagnate. And there's our dagger level up. We'll take all that. Alright, so for the level up, I think we need blade instinct. I think we need that. So I will go for that. And there we go. Look, this, this level 18, uh, grenadier, which I, I, I think that's the actual- uh, pronunciation. He's gray. A level 18 gray. That's actually pretty incredible for me, man. Like, level 18 seems like such a high level. Because I've always been low-leveled in Pirates Online, so it's pretty, uh, it's pretty interesting to see gray on this level 18 guy. But, 40 XP? What the fuck? Okay, well, whatever. Um, but yeah, growth. Definitely something. I'm just... Fuck, dude, I'm surprised. Really close to 4,000. I don't. I'm, I really do not expect myself to get 4,000 before the end of the year, but I do expect myself at this rate uh, to get to 4,000 in like January or something like that. If I just keep on uploading this and other things that people like on the channel, because I I do kind of have like two viewer bases, one for uh, visual novels and uh, then there's this and. And then there's the few who like whatever else I upload. So, I, I have a split uh, viewer base for sure, but I need to pay attention. I'm getting my, uh, my pattern messed up here. Um, and now that I forgot what I've said, <laughs> um, I, I don't know. I'm trying to appeal to everyone, and that seems to be working out pretty well. And as long as I continue to do that, I think all will go well in getting to 4,000 right in the beginning of 2018, which will be great. Because I have no idea what my goal for next year should be. My goal for this year was just to do 3,000. I mean, that seemed pretty uh, difficult to achieve last year. So that's why I set 3,000 as my goal. And I'm about to go 1,000 over. 
and in my head I was thinking I'd be pretty fucking happy if we could get just to uh, 3,750 at this point, and again, my expectations are blown away. I'm just, I'm surprised, man. And also thankful, but it's not what this is about. This is just uh, to talk, because talking is good. And what is this? This is a chest. It is a level 3 chest. We have a manipulation doll, which I can sell for some money. We have a trader long coat, which I can probably also sell for money because that is not a good looking coat. I did not think that was a good looking coat. But then again, the clothes that I'm wearing right now aren't exactly good looking either. But whatever. My fashion sense is quite bad. I guess that's the takeaway. You know, thinking about it, this playthrough has actually gone on for a very long time. I think it only took me a year to really complete the Toontown rewritten playthrough, and there were more episodes for that. And, uh... And it's <laughs> it's taken me some time to, to finish this one out. There were some times where I couldn't even record this. I did take breaks with the, with the uh, Toontown rewritten playthrough, but they weren't forced upon me. I just didn't want to record. Um... Or I had other things going on. Other things I wanted to record, I would say. But now this has been a very long playthrough. And there was another playthrough that I wanted to get started uh, this year. And I technically did start this year, but didn't really get into it. Because there, was, th there wasn't any more content for it. And I'm talking about Fusion Fall Retro. It's another one of the uh, games that kids played as kids or we played as kids, or whatever. However you want to say it. Um, it's the uh, it's the recreation of Fusion Fall from Cartoon Network. And, you know, I was I was excited. You know, they're finally getting us into, into beta, or whatever. And they come out saying, oh yeah, something, something happened, and now we can't, uh, we can't open it, or whatever. And I already recorded the first episode, like, oh yeah, and, and next week or two weeks or whatever, I'll have the full game, we'll, uh, we'll get going, and this will be a playthrough that I'll work on alongside The Legend of Pirates Online or whatever. Just, like, uh, do more nostalgic games here on the channel. That wasn't the case at all. They completely lied. If, if you, I, I'm gonna call it a lie. Like, they, they, they made promises they couldn't keep. And I was expecting way too much. Already, you know, trying to start a playthrough. Just, uh... I guess it, it just didn't work out. I don't know whatever happened. I have not heard anything about that game. That's something that I would like to do next year for sure. I would definitely like to play uh, Fusion Fall Retro. Oh, fuck. I just hit the higher gun. That was a smart move by Michael SK there. No, but, uh... If, if you guys have ever played Fusion Fall, you'll, you'll know it's, it's, it's quite fun. Or at least that's how I remember it. I used to think this was fun, and... <laughs> my opinion has greatly changed over this past year. But I, I do want to play it. I do want to, you know, get that nostalgia back. It was a lot of fun, in my opinion. It's just... Fuck, I don't know whatever happened to it. They, they just were never able to get it out here, and... It really sucks. I don't know what their reasoning is, but maybe I should look into it. I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of uh, viewers who watch my uh, Talapo stuff. I'm sure there's a lot of you guys that would be interested in watching Fusion Fall because that that was another uh, MMORPG that a lot of us were able to play easily because we're, we're just too bad for other games, I, I'm, I'm guessing. I know I was, definitely. Or at least my computer was too bad. Alright, let's grab all that shit. Alright, so now we have to find... Gypsies. And I think there's one over here. But yeah, hopefully they can get whatever the fuck is going on fixed. And all will be well in the world. Oh, these are... These are some big boys. I think I'm gonna have to pull out the broadsword for this one. Alright, here we go. Oh yeah, the broadsword will work out just fine here. No worries. Look at this shit. He thinks that- Oh, fuck. Oh, no. No, this is not gonna work out. This is not gonna work out. Luckily, my blade will strike both of them at once. That, you know what? Actually, yeah, this will work out. This will work out fucking fantastically. Damn. Alright. 
I got worried for nothing. Alright, well, whatever. I, I don't know. Uh, leave a comment if you would like to see a Fusion Fall uh, playthrough whenever they actually get their shit together. I, I'm, I mean, I'll, I'm doing it. I'd, I'd really like to do it. But... <laughs> It, it, it's kind of on them. Making all these false promises and shit or whatever. Hopefully I don't start anything by saying all this. It's just, it, it's exactly what it looks like. In, in all honesty. It honestly looks like false promises. But not to the extent of like... The failed pirates experiment. But whatever. Siren doll. I guess I'm taking it. I'll compare everything later. One more gypsy. I'm actually really... I'm, I'm not struggling at all against these executioners and everything. I mean, these look like really high levels in my opinion, but... Apparently I'm fine. And I'm shackled. That's... That's good. Luckily I can strike both of these guys at once. The broadswords are just fantastic. Jack was not lying at all. He was telling the truth and nothing but the truth. This can actually make leveling up the sword a lot easier. Now that I think about it. All right, we are done, and I'm on fire. That's that's great. All right, we can return to Fernando once we're technically not in battle anymore. Come on, there we go. The guy wearing blue clothes flies into the heavens. That's actually something I've always wondered: is why why is that their teleportation? Disney did not think that out right. Like I. I don't understand that at all. Is this is that supposed to be related to the voodoo or whatever? Did do does everyone have like a sense of voodoo magic? Is is that the deal? Because this shit is whack, man. This is <laughs> it makes no sense. In Toontown, it it makes sense because you're you're like a cartoon. You do the old fashioned pull a hole out of your ass and you just plop it onto the ground and you can teleport wherever. But in this you just fly off into heaven and God sends you back down wherever he thinks you should be fucking striked. I don't know, man. It just, they really did not think that one through, in my opinion. All right, Fernando. Let's do this. All right. Many thanks, my friend. The undead are a menace to us all. Take this letter to Romany. It says I forgive her so she can get on with her life and her voodoo magic. Ah, uh, so that's what we were doing. So we are 18% done. And if that's actually true, then that's actually not bad. I feel like we've got some much more tedious and annoying and maybe a few difficult quests that we have to do later on. But I don't know, seeing that we're about 20% done, a fifth of the way there is pretty nice, in my opinion. I'm... I'm I'm pretty all right with that. If that's actually, like, correct. Those percentages have really fucked me in the ass before. With good old Gunner. Romany Bev, you gross-looking woman, we have a letter for you. Ah, the letter. Now I can get back me powers. And break the curse on this key for my old friend, Diladoga. Return to him with the key and some extra potion in case he needs it later. A thousand points? What the fuck? All right. <laughs> Alright, I won't question that further. I will definitely take that. Maybe they're actually giving off more XP for the quests. Like, you would think that as you continue along with the questing, you get more XP later on. Like, not this 100 for everything you do, but maybe bump it up to 200 or 300. But it looks like they're now giving you 1,000 for a bit of an interlude, which is fine. I, I guess. I wonder what the next part of all this is. I don't even know what we're doing. I always forget that part. I'm recording all the story bits uh, because I want this to be the first complete Talapo playthrough or whatever. If, if, if there isn't already one. But just like, to, to have everything. To have all the important shit. If, if you can call this important. But whatever. Gilladoga. Hello. 1000 XP. Alright. Fine work, mate, but it doesn't work. Parker must have must have dropped other keys and bottles and threw them into the sea. If I'm right, the current probably swept them all over the Caribbean. So visit Garrett and Garrett's imports and exports. All right. I don't know where that is, but I'm sure we will figure that out as we run around. 
We may be ending the uh, the session here in a little bit because with all the footage that I've recorded from earlier and now, I feel like we'd have enough for like two episodes or something like that, which is fine by me because I, I need to record ahead because <sighs> I'm getting my wisdom teeth out. And I said this in the last session, but I'm getting my wisdom teeth out on a, on, a, on a Wednesday of this week. I don't know when this video is going up, so... Whenever Wednesday is, I'm getting my wisdom teeth out, but probably by the time you guys are watching this, they're already out, and I would have already experienced lovely pain and misery, so there's all that. Uh, but after this week, all will be back to normal, and I won't have to record ahead. That's actually become a very big... Uh, it's become a difficult thing to do, recording ahead. I used to do that all the time, uh, on this channel even. I used to do that with Toontown and a lot of other games, but it it's just become very difficult. Maybe it's because I'm doing a lot of other things. I'm not just on my own anymore. I don't know. I, I really don't. All right, Garrett, you are not a good-looking guy. Which key? Ah, uh, yes, I sort of remembers where that is. And I can definitely remember with your help, Savvy. Yeah, of course. That's all the... Like, Whoever designed the story for the quests did a terrible job. EITC Marauders. And Barracudas. And Navy Man of Wars. Oh, I get to do that on my own time. We are 23% done. Key number one? What the fuck? Alright, whatever. I guess we're doing a bit of a sub part. The Black Pearl crew is 75% done. We are so damn close to the, to the end of this playthrough, guys. Like, I can... I can smell it just a little bit. I can smell the end. We're very close. But before we end the session, I would like to go to Port Royal. And I would like to go ahead and turn in uh, the Watcher quest. Uh, I think this would actually finish up the uh, the Woodlands or whatever the fuck this quest line is. And uh, Mike Wass was actually asking me if you guys know who Mike Wass is. I guess he used to work on... Uh, this this project at one point in time he joined my discord and asked me what I thought about this quest line and I thought it was all right uh, but I will admit that I'm not a fan of how when you select something your pirate will speak it I'm, I'm not used to that because they're trying to oh shit I should have <laughs> I should have put myself on do not disturb um I would say that in like stuff like World of Warcraft, if you select certain things, you don't have your character then speak that. It's already been implied that you have already said that to the character. And maybe I'm used to games like Persona 5 and other visual novels and shit like that. Actually, I think visual novels do the same thing. Like, they'll, they'll pull a talapo, as I will call it. I don't know, that's the only thing I don't like. I like this whole chatting system. It really brings in more of an actual story to the quest, and you're not just skipping through it. Hello again, and tells me you have something for me. What might that be? Uh, I do, and now I can finally get rid of you two. Thank goodness I do. Take this locket and put it in one hand. Drink this potion with the other. Should restore your memories, and then I can get out of here. It, it worked? I'm at a loss for words. I remember it all. That terrible beast and poor Anne. And she's been through so much since the Watcher took me. The ring. The one you found. Please go give it to her at once. Alright. Oh, shit, dude. We get a lot of stuff. We get temporary 2 times XP. A skeletal striped bandana. 2,500 gold pieces. And 500 XP. Oh, wow. Alright. I'll definitely accept all that. Oh, shit. I have six hours of this shit. It looks like I'm grinding. I take it the potion worked? That's wonderful. Uh, dear, take your stupid ring. Yeah, isn't it just wonderful? Th that's not what I wanted to say. Come on. You know, after everything we've been through, I thought you'd have maybe grown fond of us. I guess that's not the case. I will say thank you anyway, despite your rude attitude. Without your help, we wouldn't have been able to reunite. Yes, we were together before you found us, but we didn't know what we were to each other. I hope that gold you found earlier when helping Richard is enough compensation for your troubles. I guess this is a goodbye. Despite everything, I wish you the best of luck. 
I feel kind of bad. <laughs> but what what is this shit? I never understood. Like, what is this? I I don't get it. We can we can talk to him, can we? No, we can't. What's his name? Pirates have found the mighty. St Who is this guy? Is he related to the quest line? Well, fuck. I don't know. All right. Well, we're at least done with that. And now I've got six hours of two times XP. All right. I guess I'll accept that. Uh, I guess on my free time, I will sink these ships and maybe do some grinding. Because I can get a lot of XP. I can really bring my weapons up. And fuck, maybe, maybe I'll be a completely new man after, you know, all the grinding that I will do. I will, probably will not record more of this until after my Wisdom Teeth operation, so uh, please uh, keep me in your in your prayers and in your booty holes, and I will hopefully come back very soon and record some more Pirates for you guys uh, when I'm actually able to speak and not be in pain. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this session of The Legend of Pirates Online. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe for more. So, again, see you guys after the operation, procedure, surgery, death, whatever you want to call it. Uh, hopefully, hopefully it goes well, because I'm not looking forward to it. But, next episode, all should be well, or at least I'd like to say. Take it easy, guys.